Hey everybody, Brett from Stardust Gaming here, back with another episode of our 1257 Anno Domini Let's Play, where we're rejoining Fallon Fitzgerald in the uh, northern parts of Ireland, where uh, between episodes, we've received a letter from Fingin McCarthy, who has told us that in his city of Dungannon, one of the merchants has uh, recently received a shipment of both velvets and furs and other, you know, high-end fabrics. And he suggests that we get there and purchase those before anybody else does so that we can uh, deliver them to him or uh, go ahead and make them into a coat as a gift for his brother. And so we're going to do that. We've also got a lady to visit. You guys seem to agree that uh, Lady Assault was the best one for us to look at maybe marrying. And so we're going to work on that today as well. Um, we may need to learn some poems before we do that, though. Anywho, let's head on into town and uh, see if they're still there. And then we'll have to find Fingin. I'm not sure where he's off to as of right now, but Lady Assault might be in. So let's uh, swing on into the marketplace and to the goods merchant. And yeah, sure enough, he's got one thing of velvet, one, one thing of velvet, one thing of furs. Uh, so luckily we got here when we did. Oh, we're going to need to sell some stuff, though. Uh, you don't have any money, so... Let's see, you have a little bit. Go ahead and get rid of all of this. Actually, we didn't really need all that much money, did we? Um, I think all of that can go realistically. We'll keep the darts and whatnot, because those are for me. I'll hang on to that sword, because it's not a bad sword. And then we'll organize our food a bit. And so only 112 gold there. That's not a whole lot, but it'll have to do. And then we'll swing back into the goods merchant, grab those. Uh, it's going to cost me 1,600 dinars, or gold coins, but uh, I guess we're just going to have to live with that. And, okay, so let's see. It doesn't look like Lady Assault is in. Um, we'll go to the castle real quick and see if Fingin's here. But I didn't think I saw him when we uh, were riding up to the city. No, he's not here. Would you guys happen to know where he is? No. It would appear not, so nobody's home. Okay. Well then, let's ride around a bit. We'll see if we can't find some any of or any other uh, lords that might have jobs for us to do. Again, we want to get on everybody's good side, or at least enough people to where if we decide to start a rebellion, we'll have, you know, a decent amount of strength coming over with us. Um, our ironworks is still under construction here, and I think that's about it. I guess we could swing into the tavern and see what's going on. Uh, some mercenaries, that's about it. Actually, is there anybody here that might know some poetry? Because that would be useful later. Wandering Minstrel, that works. Um, let's see, can you teach me any poems? The Heart's Desire, cool. Yeah, teach me starts like a Barry White song. Um, so now that we're done here, done in Dungan, let's head to maybe Donegal? I don't know where they would be. I'm, they could still be hanging out in Sligo with that uh, feast going on, but I thought the feast was wrapping up fairly soon. I guess we'll see if they all come riding past me. Is anybody home here? No? Let's head back to Sligo then. Anybody in Sligo? Whoops, I didn't mean to enter the castle. Uh, only Brian O'Neill. So it looks like everybody did leave. Uh, I don't know where they went then. You'd think they would return back to their um, back to their castles and you know fiefs and whatnot. But let's see if we can find another minstrel because we're gonna need to know as many of those poems as we can. I don't think there's one here though. Unless it's this guy. Nope, they've got a ransom broker. Do we have any prisoners? No, apparently not. Oh well, let's uh, swing around here. And yeah, I don't see anybody. Alright, well, let's see. There is a lady here. Um, this is Conchibor's castle, though. So I don't recall who uh, he's related to. I didn't mean to enter the arena there. So, Lady Rayon is the only one here. Okay, well, we could maybe consider uh, betrothing ourselves to her as well, but I think Lady Assault is option number one, so we'll work on, we'll work on that first. Um, 
I guess in the meantime, let's turn to let's return to Castle Rhea and see what's happening at home. Well, on the way back, we've encountered some pirates who are harassing our villagers, so let's run them down and uh, bring them to swift justice. Yeah, yeah. We're not afraid. Okay, everybody follow me. Uh, wow, this is an awfully flat battlefield, isn't it? That would appear to be them out there. Let's see, this is sort of a hill. Not a particularly great one. They don't look too interested in charging us, though, so we're gonna have to move up. I think right about here is a good place to set up our archers. We'll let them uh, fire a bit first. And then I think we'll move in. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, here they come. Infantry, go ahead and charge. Cavalry, I'm going to take you around this way. Let's see, it looks like we've diverted a few of them, but not all of them. So let's continue to circle. And then cavalry, go ahead and charge. Oh, that got him. Ah, he switched sides on me there. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm gonna try to bail my, my dudes out here. Damn, that was way, way short. So was that, apparently. Man, I can't seem to hit anything. There we go. I did a little bit of damage, but it wasn't enough to bring him down. Hold still. Ah, come on, there we go. And there's our victory. We did have somebody go down, it looked like. So hopefully we didn't have too many casualties there. Uh, two of our spearmen were killed, that's unfortunate. Let's see, I'll take some of the more valuable stuff here. Okay, so uh, Fallon did level up there. Let's go ahead and handle that now. Uh, I think we're gonna need some intelligence here. And then I will put one of those points into power throw so I can start using those darts. And the other will go into inventory management. Then I will probably throw two points into throwing and the rest into pole arms. And now we can actually use these darts. All right, so let's head into Castle Rhea. We'll talk to the elder here. And uh, anything that you guys might need done? No? Okay. Well, we'll have to figure out something else to do then. Hey right, guys, so while setting up camp for the night, uh, one of my men came to tell me that somebody was here to see us. Uh, they were apparently interested in joining our uh, party, and so we're going to go have a chat with them right now and see who it is. Benjamin Rose, the son of an English soldier and an Irish mother, didn't have as easy a childhood as most. His family lived a relatively comfortable life, but were never truly accepted by the English occupiers or the Irish natives. Benjamin often went hunting with his father and became very skilled with all manner of bows. One day, he returned from hunting alone to find his father dead, murdered for loving a lowly Irish woman. He found himself resenting the English and angrily left the pale, heading north to find work. Right, so Benjamin's going to be joining us as primarily an archer, at least uh, for now. Um, he's got a light Gaelic burning on, a hunting bow, um, some barbed arrows, and his father's old arming sword. And so we're just going to slot him in, in the archer group. Uh, we'll put him near the top so we don't lose track of him. And uh, yeah, welcome to the party, Benjamin Rose. And uh, thank you to everybody who submitted a character thus far. Uh, you guys had some really, really great character ideas. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys continue to build on them. Um, if you haven't read Benjamin Rose's full backstory in the comments on the last video, I highly suggest you do. It was a fantastic read. 
Uh, but anywho, uh, thanks again to all of my subscribers who have submitted characters. If you submitted the character and they didn't make it in yet, don't worry. Just keep building that character. And uh, there are plenty of slots for um, custom, uh, custom designed characters in this particular mod. So do not worry about that. Alright guys, so with that, I think we're going to go ahead and head to a few of the local forts and just see like who's around, uh, if anybody's got any quests for us. I don't know where Fingen is, and so we can't exactly turn that quest in until we find him, but uh, he might be at another castle nearby, or uh, there might be some other lords who have work for us. So I guess what we'll do is let's head to Blarney Castle, and then we'll sort of work our way back up and around. But I don't know where they could all be. I didn't catch who that was. Let's see, nobody home there either. Let's maybe head over to Sligo. Not a lot of people present right now. Oh boy, there's a border incident. Oh, we're not involved though. Okay, whatever. Um, apparently there's still a feast going on here. Let's see who's still inside. I do not like too many people are. A few of the ladies are still here. Fiona, Damon, and uh, Sheila. And then, of course, Brian O'Neill himself. Let's see. Any tasks? No, just some minor errands. Um, would you happen to know where Fingen McCarthy is? What is he doing out there? Wow, okay. We'll, we'll have to wait a while then. Um, maybe you know where Conchabar is? He's out there as well? Well, I think we are at war with Norway, so maybe they are taking the fight to the Norwegians right now. That's something I wouldn't mind getting involved in. So, let's see. Man. Where were they? That should be Sweden. The the more purplish, like lavender color, is Norway, and then the blue is Sweden. Let's see. I'm not seeing the place where they were though. It's entirely possible that they're not in Norway. They could be in like Denmark or something, heading there. But the the that name that didn't. I don't know why I'm having such a hard speaking, such a hard time speaking right now. That name didn't sound Danish; it sounded Norwegian. Um, I'm not seeing it. I guess we can check in here. Um, is it going to tell me where he is? Let's see. It should say like last. Yeah, he's reported near this place. Which is... Oh, okay. So it's up here. Probably raiding that. That makes a lot more sense because that's not nearly as far away. Um, well, I'm probably not going to head out there right now, especially if there's no like battles happening. So let's uh, let's head to Donegal one more time, and we'll see if anybody's there. I just I want to know where the other lords are, but it seems like they're all up north right now, which is kind of unfortunate. It's gonna make this really difficult. Yeah, nobody's at Kirkabraggy Castle either. So we might have to head. Yeah, it's being raided right now. Nobody here. Well, let's go up there then. We'll meet them halfway. What's going on there? Oh, English Archbishop is fighting some pirates. Oh, here's Mir Mirtok. Let's talk to him. Alright, good to see you again. Uh, what are you currently doing? I'm traveling to Sligo. You're attending the feast? The feast is over, man. Um, any tasks for me? No. Anything that might help us advance our standing? Okay. Nothing there either. Um, what is the realm currently doing? We're gathering for a feast, but the feast is over. Alright, well... Good luck to you. Alright, I have found both Fingen and Conchabar, so let's talk to Fingen first. Uh, apparently he's accompanying his brother though. Let's see, I have the materials for uh, your brother's coat. 
Okay, so he is going to uh, take care of that. And then let's see about that task. What task did he give me? Uh, I guess I'm still working on it. Um, anything else that would help us advance our standing? No. Okay. And I believe that will be it. Let's actually ask him if he knows where his daughter is. She's currently at Dungeon. Okay, she wasn't there last time we were there, but we can swing back and check. Let's have a word with his brother before we leave. Maybe we can ask where they're headed next. Uh, your horse is kind of blocking your face there. There we go. Oh, good. You got the gift. Uh, maybe that completed the quest. But either way, let's have some more words with him. Um, any tasks? No. Anything to help us advance our standing? No, of course. Well, what uh, what are you currently doing? We're laying waste to another village. Okay, apparently this is more of a personal matter. Um, what's the realm currently doing? There's no campaigns. All right. Well, I hope to join any campaign that they form up. For now, though, it doesn't look like he's got a whole lot going on for us. So I'm going to leave. I'll let them continue doing whatever they're doing. Um, if they're going to take a castle or something, I would join them. But it sounds like they're just going to raid villages, and I don't really want to lose a bunch of honor. So let's just be on our way. All right, guys, so on the way back, we've come across a couple of our fellow Irish lords. So we're going to have a chat with some of them. Uh, oh, it's Magnus. We haven't met Magnus yet. Let's introduce ourselves. And... Uh, he seems mostly indifferent to us. I guess we're sort of, you know, competition. Let's see. Any tasks that you might need done? No. Anything that might help us advance our standing? Okay. Well, I guess he's not got a lot going on. Um, I'm curious, though. What are you guys doing? Oh, apparently the marshal summoned them. Oh, that's good to know. Fingin apparently was appointed uh, marshal. That, that should be a opportunity for us to gain some more relation points, points with him. Alright, so there are two more lords here. Uh, we have Domnal, one of the other young lords. Um, let's see, any tasks you might have for us? No. Um, anything that might help us advance our standing? Apparently nothing there as well. Okay, well, good luck to you. And then we have Godfried. Let's see, any tasks for us? No. Anything that might help us advance our standing? He does like us quite a bit. But yeah, it doesn't look like he's got anything going on either. Um, we haven't been summoned by the marshal yet, so I'm not going to head out there until we have been. For now, I think I'm going to go... Oh, apparently he's trying to attack us. No, he's running from them. Okay. There's Tyg O'Brien and Amlab. I don't really want to talk to Tyg, but we will. Uh, he's got nothing either. Okay. And I doubt that, uh, where, where is his, the manners in the way? Let's let him get a little bit further away from it. Amlab probably won't have anything for us either, but it doesn't hurt to ask. We've never introduced ourselves to him, apparently. Um, do you have any tasks for us? No. You've got no ideas in that regard either. Okay. Well, I suppose that I will just await the martial summons then. Yeah, we haven't been summoned, so... Um, let's head to Duncannon and we'll talk to Lady Assault and see what she's up to. There's also got some pirates running around there that we can attack. Uh, who is that that just ran by? I saw the party, but I didn't catch the banner or the name. We'll attempt to visit a lady. And let's see what she's got to say. Hello, Fallon. What brings you here today? I must... I would like to uh, profess myself your most ardent admirer. Oh, she didn't like that. Uh-oh. My, the hour is getting late, isn't it? I must really be going. Uh, maybe she just wanted to be friends. Well, I'm sorry to, bar or to uh, bother you at this hour. Um, I guess I'll be on our, my way. All right, well, that didn't go particularly well, but we will continue to work on that and see if we can maybe turn things around. Um, 
Right, so until we get summoned, I suppose we should just sort of uh, keep ourselves busy. Oh, apparently they've come back. Well, that works then. I'm curious where he's headed. Don't even recognize you in that helmet. Um, let's see, you don't have any tasks for me. Okay, well, let's see. What are you guys currently doing? You're assembling the armies. All right. I think that means we can expect an invitation fairly shortly. Um, what is the realm currently doing? You're assembling for some sort of uh, campaign, it sounds like. So we'll stay close by, and I imagine we'll get an invitation shortly, because he is trying to gather the armies together, and it seems like everybody else got the memo. No, he doesn't seem to be interested in inviting me. That's pretty strange given that we have really high relationship with him. So he should be asking me to come join him. And I want to. I just, you know, I can't without the uh, the invitation. Although I, I can accompany him. It's just I'm not going to get credit for it. Which is, you know, kind of like half the reason to show up. Hmm. Well, I'll stick around here a bit and see what they decide to do. I'll go ahead and accompany him. Alright guys, so we are uh, headed out. Apparently we're going to Orkneyar to uh, raid it. I don't know why we're taking the entire force of the Gaelic Kingdoms to do that, but we are. So um, I suppose what I'll do is I'll go ahead and break off the episode here because uh, we can pick back up at the end of our journey when we get there. I imagine there's not going to be a whole lot that comes of this. Um, I'm not sure why we aren't attacking the Island of Man here, because this is their closest settlement to us, and it is a castle that we could actually take, rather than just uh, these villages that we could raid, which is not going to get us really anywhere. But I'm not the marshal or the king, so I really have no say in the matter. So, uh, I suppose I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had a great time playing some 1257 Anno Domini with you guys, and I look forward to seeing you back here. And all of your new characters or the continuation of your existing characters in the next episode.